do. The only the only trick is to take and find out where my insertion point is going to be in the corner. Now I can figure that out mathematically very quickly if I just know what the distance is between two sections. So the distance between two sections as it comes up is exactly 100 units. So really I only need to be 50 units off the side here to start my math book. So let's go ahead and try that. So we're going to go to our task pane. We'll say new. New math book. In this case, these will be cross sections. Sheet template. The template we're going to take and use is a cross section template that I've already got created. The layout, I've got just the one in there. I've got a map layout, will be fine. As far as my title block, we'll go ahead and select that. And then adjacent arrow links, I really don't need that in this particular scenario. Just like I won't need a key map, I just want to break the sheets off themselves. Scale factor, I would like my main viewport to be set at 40 scale. That's what I set it up for. We'll come down to tiling. Pick up or left. What I'm going to do when it asks for point, really cool uh, object snap here, I'm going to say from, if I could spell that correctly. We'll say from base point. We'll grab the end of here. I'm going to say at negative 50 units to go to the left, comma. I'm going to take a stab at 30 in the y direction to locate a point that's pretty close to where my crosshair is right now. It'll locate that. Rows, I only need one. Columns, I have no idea how many sheets I need. Let's set it to maybe nine. And overlap, we'll set it to zero. Just like the previous one, I'm going to say preview, and let's take a look at what that looks like. And if I look at that on the screen, we see it automatically lays out all of those boundaries. And really, instead of nine, I really only need seven as far as the number of total sheets that I need. So I'm going to say exit. I'm going to come back and look at that. You know what I can do? I can either set my nine to seven to what I need, or you can actually come down here at the bottom and say skip any empty tiles, and it won't create tiles for areas that don't contain any information. Same as before, grid sequential. Uh, we'll go ahead and start maybe in this case with sheet 30, increment by one, and we're not going to keep any names for the skip tiles. Uh, key map, we don't need one. The legend, I don't need one. And I'm going to integrate this into the same version we used before. So we'll say my Lakewood, rename. These are going to be my cross-section sheet, and we'll say generate. All right, same as before, the machine will chug for a couple of seconds. If you notice at the bottom of the screen where we had layouts before, just a single layout, we'll see all of the additional layouts created where it says cross-section 30, 31, 32. If I take and select on a specific sheet, we'll see that sheet come up with our border and the, uh, the viewport and that as well already established that they can show us our information. Okay, so that comes up for sheet number 30. I'm going to take and click on sheet number 31 and we'll cache that into memory and we'll see that one taken display on the screen as well. Okay, so we'll let that, uh, let that take and refresh. We have that section, that sh section takes and displays. I'm satisfied with that. If I zoom up on my my section here on the screen, I can see once again my areas are easily identified with custom fill, as well as I've got the table automatically located for me in the lower left. Okay, so once again, like I had mentioned, with MapBooks, it gives us a very convenient tool to take and automate the process of not only doing grading, geometric, utility plans, but also it gives us another mechanism to take and automate the process of, of creating our cross-section sheets as well. All right, so let me hop back here in the essence of time, get back to my my PowerPoint presentation. We'll drop down here. So just in review, basically what I've gone through. Okay, so that uh, concludes this uh, this presentation. Thank you for watching.